now invite you to take a few moments of silence as we remember the fallen. A moment of silence, scenes from this year's 9-11 observance, streamed live on Facebook from the Fort Meade Fire Station. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. As we remember 9-11, we also remember a longtime Fort Meade community member no longer with us. Also some traffic news. Don't forget about Wellness Wednesdays, plus a Fort Meade warrant officer is Mrs. Maryland America. These stories and more, but first, the Undersecretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness issued a policy memo this week extending uniform services ID cards, certificates, and benefits through June 30th of next year for cards expiring between January of this year and June 30th, 2021. This, however, does not apply to common access or CAT cards. CAT cards will not be extended. If your CAT card is expiring in the next 60 days, you need to schedule an appointment. As of this week, appointments are booked through October 27th. Turning to some traffic news, Public Works announced this week that the Smallwood Hall parking lot will be repaved between September 14th and October 14th. The improvement includes the entire parking lot from Smallwood Hall on one end to the motorcycle training area on the other. According to Public Works, government vehicles are authorized to park directly in front of the Fort Meade Museum, but not the driveway circle. All other vehicles will have to relocate for the duration of the project. In other news, Colonel Frank Preston, a longtime Fort Meade community member and ROTC instructor at Meade High for 23 years, recently passed away. We had a chance to speak with a few of his students that had returned to pay their final respects. They're all Meade High graduates and ROTC students. We spoke at length about the Colonel, but family seemed to be the dominant theme. It was almost a demand. Uh, he, he kept close contact yeah. with all of his commanders, for as far as I knew and other cadets that really stood out. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, maybe they went back to military ball or maybe some of us uh, had children, children who wound yeah. up going to school and wound up under Colonel Preston's leadership again. And he created a family. I mean, we're, we're like family. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it wasn't like you're going to another class in school. It, it was a family environment. We all looked out for each other. And Colonel Preston made sure it was always that way. We always supported each other and we all, all walks of life. It didn't mm -hmm. matter what we looked like. It didn't matter what our background was. It didn't ma and none of that mattered. When we walked in those doors, we were family and our duty was to support and hold each other down. Mm -hmm. We understood that being family meant discipline, accountability. It also meant support. It meant all these other things. And the Colonel expected that to continue throughout life. We'll have more on the conversation and on Colonel Preston on Digital Mead. Meanwhile, a reminder from the Employee Assistance Program and the Army Substance Abuse Program about Wellness Wednesdays. Wellness Wednesday, you get a chance to change your negative thinking into positive thinking. You got an opportunity to become more resilient in your operation to where you can achieve whatever it is that you are out there to achieve. That also will be on Wednesdays at 1300 to 1400. Army Warrant Officer Keisha Ruiz, assigned to the Army Field Support Center here at Fort Meade, was crowned the winner of the 2020 Mrs. Maryland America pageant. The winner of the Mrs. Maryland America pageant makes personal appearances throughout the state and also earns the right to participate in the Mrs. America pageant and potentially the Mrs. World pageant. We'll talk with Chief Warrant Officer Ruiz on the next edition of Meade Week. Stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, that's it for this edition. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week. Therefore, the bell will ring in memory of all those who died during the attacks on September 11th, 2001. And so, to those who have selflessly given their lives for the good of their fellow Americans, their tasks completed, their duties well done, to our fallen comrades, their last alarm, they are going home.